This is the Escape Vivi by Soul. We bought these originally eight years ago for our emergency bags. They're compact, lightweight, fairly inexpensive. Thankfully, we have not had to use them in an emergency, but today we're gonna to take them out of the bag and check them out. So Soul actually stands for Survive Outdoor Longer, which is always a good thing. They do make a few different types. Um, there's a lightweight one, a thermal, and like an extra large. So make sure you research a little bit exactly the style that best fits your needs. If you've ever used one of these, um, let us know what your experience was in the comments below. Let's go over some of the features. It comes in this nice orange color. So if you're ever lost in the woods, maybe injured and have to stay overnight or whatever, the color would be so much easier for emergency responders to spot you. The material that the bivy is made from, it reflects about 70% of your body heat back to you. The material is breathable, which is a big deal, so the moisture can get out. The bivy can be used as a sleeping bag replacement, but only down to about 50 degrees. Let's take this in the tent and open it up and see how it goes. First things first, let's see how much this weighs. It weighs 8.6 pounds. No, <laughs> that would be terrible. It weighs 8.6 ounces. Um, definitely a little bit heavier than a Mylar blanket, but um, definitely lighter than a sleeping bag. Let's take this out and see what it looks like. It appears that it has like the a hood. First impressions, reminds me of a mummy bag. Let's measure the length of it. We see from foot to head, almost 80 inches. Um, your sleeping bag is supposed to go inside of this. Um, I guess if you had a mummy bag, it would be easy, but I can't imagine a large sleeping bag fitting in here. That would be, because uh, let's see, let's width. Width wise, 27 inches. Yeah, so let's unzip it and slide in and see. The uh, material itself, it reminds me of race bibs that you get when you're running, running trail races or road races, but that's the material it reminds me of. We have the double zipper, so you have the outside and the inside. And it also has a tie which would tighten. Inside it's got the reflective material. The zipper only actually goes part way down, as you can see. So let's get in. I'm 5'9", so, <laughs> so it seems like it's a little bit shorter, but, and then if you were to add a sleeping bag on in there, it might be a tight squeeze. I can see why people might get the extra large size. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Um, a hoodie like feature. I'm in. I can, uh, I can't imagine getting another sleeping bag in here, but I think I'm sure if you had to, you could. Anyway, then it is nice having the inside uh, zipper, easy to seal up. On the other side, we have our toggle switch for the hood like feature. I'm not quite sure why. There's an extra attachment, maybe if the uh, it comes undone. It's, it's actually a little bit difficult to maneuver. Um, we're gonna tighten it up and see. It makes it into like a hood feature, so you're able to still breathe and keep your warmth in, but the moisture can come out. It's definitely a tight fit, but I mean, you can obviously move and if, if it's an emergency, I'm definitely warm. So actually I can feel the warmth coming off of it, which is pretty cool. I'm nice and toasty in here. There's not much movable room in here. I mean, there is some space. All right, my turn to check this thing out. One thing I noticed right away is it's like light enough where it actually floats. So I'm six feet tall. So let's see how well I fit in here. Yeah, it definitely has that mummy bag feel. Oh, oh. 
reminds me how much I hate mummy bags. It's pretty easy to zip up. So being six feet, I am able to get my whole body in here. And my feet are definitely, they're touching the end, but they're not like pushing through. So I can, I can, I can reach down and grab lower so I'm not like totally jammed in here. But if you're a much bigger person, you're going to have a harder time moving around in here. That's easy to get out. Oh. This material is advertised as being waterproof. So let's try it out. We got some water. Let's see if it beads up. Not really beading up. Although it's kind of rolling off. So it's not beating up like I, would, like I would expect it to, but let's see underneath here if I can feel any coming through. It feels dry on the bottom. Durability wise, this material, actually I was way, I was actually kind of thinking this was going to be kind of a one use wonder or like you use it once and then throw it away because you're never going to use it again. But feeling it, it's, it's actually really strong. I mean, I probably could jam my finger through it if I push really hard, but it's actually holding up really well. So I would think it, this thing would hold up for quite a few uses if you actually wanted to use this as your lightweight sleeping bag for those warmer weather days. Let's see how easy this is to pack back up. If I remember right. Good. That was really easy actually to pack up. Just rolled it up and fit. Just got some of that air out and then fit perfectly back in. Escape Bivy. Good purchase? Absolutely. Definitely needed for um, your camping essentials. For Way better <laughs> than just a basic Mylar blanket. Yes, definitely. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about us, check out ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.